By now, you've probably figured out that our National Marine Sanctuaries are succeeding because of the partnerships between government, private conservation organizations, and everyday citizens. The restoration of Hawaiian fish ponds is a perfect example. Ko Ie Ie Loko Ia Fish Pond on the island of Maui is listed on the U.S. Register of Historic Places. Back in 1996, the Association of Fish Ponds of Maui began renovating. Thought to be about five to six hundred years old, Ko Ie Ie Loko Ia is another example. Some would say it's a conduit between the past and the modern world. Fish ponds all over the state are being restored. The aquaculture techniques and values of Hawaiian stewardship are being passed on to new generations. As you work with the Puanku and you work in the different areas of the fish pond, you find different lifestyle of different species on each section. In fact, they're pretty territorial. You know, we had a high school student came and do a study only on the species. And they show you how the fish was one place, you know, a certain seaweed was one place, a growth of the coral was one place, the color of the coral was different from different places. So it was pretty fascinating that our kupuna know what was in there, what wasn't there, and what they're going to be able to harvest. So it's, it, it's, it's a, you know, it, it, it's an it's amazing thing that what was left behind. So when if we look at that, I think it was a, it was a whole kupu. It was a gift left in legacy for the people in the Mokupuni, the island like Maui, the Moku, our district like Kula, our Ahupua, like Po'ono Ulu, and then our local Ia. So if you look at that, everybody talk about, oh, you know, how we manage our land. Well, if you just look at that aspect, Mauka Makai, you know, Mauka all the way down to the ocean. So if you don't know Mauka and you come Makai, you're kind of lost, you know, you're not one half, half person, you're one half person, you're not one whole person. We've talked about the significance of water management and the importance of keeping sediment and other pollutants from reaching our nearshore areas. Another valuable component that is often underappreciated are the educational and outreach efforts extended to our communities. Building this support is another necessary step towards achieving sustainability. Uh, the fish pond next to us, Ko Ie Ie Loko Ia, the Hawaiian fish pond, um, it's uh, overseen by a nonprofit organization uh, led by Uncle Kimo Keo Kapahulehua and Joy Lynn Paman. And the association helps us by providing the cultural based uh, activities and the sanctuary comes in and provides the science-based activities. So it's a joint relationship and partnership that we can allow the opportunities for education and teaching of both science and culture in one locale. So it affords us that great opportunity. And we've been partners um, since their inception back a few years ago. Private organizations like Kamehameha Schools recognize the value of place-based learning and have invested heavily in exposing students to places like the Hawaiian fish ponds. This group of students from West Oahu are getting hands-on experience at Loko Ea Fish Ponds in Haleiwa, which is on the northern shore of Oahu. Stewardship, teamwork, and an appreciation for Hawaiian culture are a couple of lessons learned here. Um, when we look back in traditional Hawaiian uh, resource protection or resource management, we know that the ocean didn't just take care of itself and the land-based activities didn't just take care of themselves. They were combined efforts in what we know as the Ahupua system or the mountains to the sea system or the, the very shallow reef flats. So here at the Humpback Whale Sanctuary, even though our kuleana or our responsibility is on the ocean, we do know that the ocean cannot be without the, the land-based activities. And so we're hopefully changing that as we move along in our new management plan approach to be more holistic and be more um, of a ecosystem-based marine sanctuary where we take into consideration what's happening on the land and work with our partners that do land-based activities and try to merge both of them so that we have a holistic approach to taking care, not just taking care of the ocean, but taking care of our land-based activities and hopefully forging back that relationship of the ahupua mentality where um, you take care of mauka to makai.